Good morning, Piscianos. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, gave donations. I am going to take a few personals today. I'm going to probably book for three personals today, and then I'll book three for tomorrow, for Monday. So I'll do a total of six. So the first six payments that I receive, that's what I will do. I have um, PayPal, I'll put it in the description box, and I also have Venmo. Let's do you and them. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please help me with this message today for my beautiful Pisces people, my Piscianos. What is going on with Pisces and Pisces person? Pisces, Pisces person. Okay. This is your side, Pisces. This is your person side. It can go vice versa. Please take it how it resonates. And this is the outcome. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay. Okay, um, hmm. I'm gonna start with their side, Pisces. I don't know how to put this. This is really strange. You got the two of cups and the then you have the lovers here in the reversal. When I see something like this, I feel a confliction. Like there's a conflicting energy with your person, Pisces. It's like they love you and they love, you know, this connection that they have with you. They communicate well with you. I also feel like it's like for some of you, um, they want to reach out and they want to talk to you. Um, but I get this sense here with this lovers in the reverse that they're kind of dealing with a lot of shit. Um, they have either past loves or new loves that are in their life right now. And it's, it's not the happiest situation I'm feeling. Um, but I definitely get the sense that they are committed. So it's like they, they want to talk to you. They want to communicate for some you probably have been hearing from them and then they haven't been giving you their full attention because they do have this other person here in the background it's very strange it's it feels like i don't understand it okay i guess it's just that they are really committed to this person whether it's going well or not so they're going to stick around. So I don't know, Pisces, if you're like the third, if you're the third party at this point, or if you were originally the first party and then someone else came along and now they're stuck in between. I don't really know what this is saying, but I definitely get the sense that there's somebody else that they are connected to and they don't want to be with. But regardless, Pisces, they are. It's like they are fully committed, whether it's a good situation or not, they are committed. It's strange, this feeling here, because with the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like I feel like they want to talk to you, but they're not putting in all the effort. Ah, now I feel it. Okay, I feel like they're treating you like the side person. That's the reality of it. It's like they want it to come easy for them. It's like you it's like the feeling of you can't um you can't dictate how this is going to go type of feeling. It's like they're the ones in control. So they think. All right, let's go over to your side. Five of cups in reverse, two of pentacles, and the star card in reverse. Some of you are thinking about getting back with this person, 
But then it's like you start remembering all the terrible things that happen and you're like, no, I don't want to do that. Let me keep focusing on what I need to focus on in my life. That's what the five of cups is telling me. The two of pentacles. Yeah, it's like, should you drop this person completely and not talk to them anymore because they're not giving you everything that you want from them, even though you really love this person and you love their their communication. And I kind of feel like for some of you, you kind of are communicating with them, um, but they're just tied down. They have somebody else and they're not putting in as much work as they should if they want to keep this connection alive. Um, then we have the star card here in reverse, Pisces. This is blocking your, your, your blessings, Pisces. This is what I feel. Having this string attachment, this energetic cord attachment with this person who's already kind of taken, kind of, in a weird way, I say kind of because lovers is in reverse. So it's like, it's this weird energy of like, you're so connected to this person and you really, you're like trying to figure out like what you should do, how you're going to balance this, how you're going to juggle this, you know, like, is this something that you want to juggle knowing that this person is not, and for some of you, you don't even know that there's another person involved. That's what I just, it just hit me. That's why they're non-committal. That's why they're not communicating. That's why they're not giving you 100% because there is somebody else that's involved. They kind of give you like, what's that? Like a, a piece of cheese, like, you know, and you keep like following that piece of cheese, but it's just like little bit, like breadcrumbing is what they call it. You know, that's the feeling like, okay, let me give you enough for the moment. And then they go ghost on you. So yeah, I did feel with the star card here that cutting this energetic cord with this person who does not want to commit 100% to you is probably for the best because there are blessings that want to come to you, but it's being taken. All right, let's go a little deeper into this person. Tell me more about this lover's card in reverse. Mm-hmm. Fool in reverse, wheel of fortune in reverse. This is my card for naive and stuck on a certain energy or stuck in a in an energetic like cycle. So I asked about this lover's card here in the reverse. And I definitely feel Pisces that they're not going anywhere. They're not leaving this person. Um, this person is kind of stupid uh, and that's the reality of it. It's the fool in reverse. So the fool in reverse gives me the energy of being way too naive, overly naive. And then we have the energy here of the wheel of fortune being stuck in this energy. So as much as this person loves you and wants to communicate with you, Pisces, they're not leaving this person. They're going to breadcrumb you. So I, this feeling that you have here is right. Like, should I just, what should I do? Should I keep this connection? Should I not keep this connection? All right. Tell me more about Pisces. Tell me more about this star card, actually. Tell me more about star card. Okay, so it's taking focus away from something that you should be doing. Um, okay, the, the Six of Wands is kind of giving me two energies right now. I kind of feel like, oh, I'm so sorry for my nail. I just realized it's so crappy of me. All right, let's do this hand. Um, I'm sorry, the Seven of Wands in reverse. I get the feeling that you're more leaning towards the like non-communicating with them, taking your communication somewhere else. Um, I feel here that you are trying to focus on um, not being alone. I'm sorry, not being like not being broke and alone. That's the feeling that I'm getting. It's like, you know what? Like, I don't want to be broke and alone. So let me make money. But here I feel like you're not really making it happen because of this tie that you have to this person. And it's not your fault. This person is leading you on. And those are the words that I'm looking for. They are leading you on, 
All right, let's see the outcome. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I think one of you are going to call it off. I think either it's going to be that you just stop completely communicating with them or they're going to just stop at some point communicating with you. It's like this ghosting feeling. So I don't know if somebody's going to ghost the other person. But um, or you can have a conversation and it just leads into like, I can't do this anymore. But definitely with this Ace of Pentacles, I'm feeling like an end to communication, an end to this like journey that you guys had. Um, there was so many dreams that I feel like you guys wanted. I feel like you guys wanted to live together, have a house, have a future. Like you were really thinking that this was going to be a new opportunity for you. All right, let's get into the Oshos. Okay, spirit, what is going on with Pisces person? I definitely feel that they're taking advantage of you, Pisces. This is the energy that I'm, I'm getting. They have a whole other life behind your back. Tell me more about Pisces person. Tell me more about Pisces person. We got the success in reverse. So I feel a couple of energies coming through with this card. One, Pisces, okay, this isn't going to work out. I feel like they know it's not going to work out with you um, because they have this other attachment um, with this other person. Um, and I feel like they're just that much of a low life. Honestly, this is the energy that I'm getting. They're that much of a low life that they know they can't offer you anything for the future, but they're kind of, they don't care. They still breadcrumb you anyway. They still kind of like lead you on. Um, this is not a person, in my opinion, that you really want to be with. I get the sense that they are not that hard working at other areas of their life. It's not just you. Um, there is a bigger picture with them that you don't fully see yet. And sometimes uh, a person's rejection is God's protect protection. Yeah, that's what I got. Okay, tell me more about Pisces. Tell me more about Pisces. You're blocking your blessings. You're working on something, but it's if you put 100% of your focus on that, it would be more successful. It's like, I got the energy. I'm not going to be broke and alone. Let me at least have some money. What is the song that's coming to my head? Oh my God. Um, I don't know. It just slipped my mind. Okay. Tell me more about Pisces. We got the traveling card. I feel like it's saying, Pisces, that if you take the right path, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It's like figuratively speaking about you traveling to a different place in your life, away from this person, away from this feeling of um, being led on. It's like you got to choose a better path. I also feel that for some of you, it's going to take some type of like vacations some type of sleepovers of friends houses I don't know like some type of just not being stuck in a rut or not being in your town or your city it's it's like the more that you kind of expand yourself and go outside of your normal four walls um, you're going to get to that path you're going to see that light the light you'll get closer to the light because I know you're trying to find the light you will get closer to it by actually traveling so it's literally and figuratively. Is it figuratively? Like emotionally? I don't know. Not sure. Confused myself. Yeah. Okay.
What advice do we have for Pisces? I always feel like that's advice, these cards, but what advice do we have for Pisces? Oh. Wow, the silence. So when I had this Ace of Pentacles, the first thing that came to me was that there was going to be no communication. It was going to go dead. And I didn't know if this person was going to ghost or if, you, this, or if you're going to ghost or just, I don't know. I had that sense. That was my original feeling. Um, but now that I got the silence card, I'm going to really stick to that. And I'm going to say, Pisces, that if you continue to communicate with this person, eventually they're going to completely cut you off. So I feel like the universe wants to tell you that maybe you, you know, number one, maybe you should cut them off first or um, communicating with them is just going to lead to more uh, leading on. Because I feel like maybe you're a little weak when it comes to that. When you Once you speak to the person, you kind of feel a different way. They kind of put all those butterflies and all that music in your head. And you start feeling like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe they're not that bad. And I feel like here with the universe, it's like that's clouding your judgment and it's clouding your mind. So maybe you should be the one to ghost them. And that's what I get with that. You know what? Let's do a blessing. I haven't done a blessing. Oh, let's do one of the new ones. Spirit, angels, ancestors, and higher beings, please give me an oracle for Pisces. Let's do an oracle. Surrender stress. So surrendering stress. Take a few deep breaths. Exhale, exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. So yeah, so this is all going to be a focus on you, on yourself, on how you're feeling. And I feel that it's interesting that it says surrender the stress. What is the stress? This person, this confusion, this like you're not sure what they're doing, if they're real about you or if they're not. And I feel here, it's like they're saying to surrender this. Like you already kind of know. It's just that you fall into these weird spells of their of theirs. Like they're really good at talking to you and making you feel a certain way and you love that feeling. So you allow yourself to be led on or breadcrumbed. So it's saying to surrender this stress. Stop talking to this person. Stop falling into this person's mind mind games, mind traps. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.